Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to help the channel grow and keep up to date with our latest videos. Welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we're looking at the Power Automate desktop actions. We're going to be looking at how we can convert JSON to a custom object. So starting with JSON then, if we've got JSON like this, which is essentially an employee ID of 12345 and a name of Flojo, we want to convert that to a custom object. So essentially we want to convert it to this, and this is how a custom object is represented on Power Automate Desktop. We have the percent sign, we open the um, curly brackets, and then we have employee ID, colon, then one, two, three, four, comma, then name, colon, and flow Joe. So it looks very similar, but obviously it gets laid out very differently. How do we then convert our JSON to this custom object? Well, we use the convert JSON to custom object action. So if we've got our JSON in a variable, we can select our JSON on the select parameters section. So we select our JSON variable. Then what we're going to do is we're going to set the custom object output variable. So we can rename this. It normally comes out as JSON as a custom object. And this is essentially where your custom object variable is going to be produced. And once you've done that, you just hit save and then it's produced. So let's actually take a look at this on Power Automate Desktop then. Okay, so I'm on Power Automate Desktop. The first thing we need to do is get some JSON that we can convert. So I'm going to use the set variable and I'm going to create some JSON example data. So I'm just going to use JSON example as the name. And then I'm going to paste in our example that we just looked at, which was the employee ID of 12345 and name of Flojo. So if I hit save and I run this now, that's just going to add the JSON into that variable. And you can see that that's done there on the right hand side under flow variables. Now we want to convert our JSON, which is what we're using here as an example, to a custom object. So on the left hand side, you can see convert JSON to custom object. If we drag and drop that, you can see that there is a JSON selection area under select parameters. Now you can write percent sign JSON example percent sign, or you can simply click on the select variable and select the uh, variable that we're going to use, which is JSON example. Now you can see the variables produces JSON as custom object. If you click on here, just as when we were setting up our JSON example name, you can rename this, but I'll leave it as that for now. So I'm going to hit save. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a breakpoint there and press run. So what that's done is it's just gone through step one. It's created our JSON. And then on our step two, we're going to convert this JSON that was just created in JSON example to JSON as a custom object. And we're going to have a custom object produced. So if I do run next, we've just run that step. And as you can see on the right hand side, we've got our JSON as custom object. If we open that now, we can see the data type is a custom object and you can see the data is laid out in that order of employee ID 12345 and name of Flojo. So that is how you can convert JSON easily into a custom object on Power Automate Desktop. Thanks for watching another video by me, Flojo. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button or select a video on your screen right now to continue learning more about the Power Platform.